Hans Zimmer is one of the astronauts in the parody. I don't have German flag mission patches, and I was like, oh man, how am I gonna do this with like no time? And then I realized I have red, yellow, and black duct tape. So I made a duct tape German flag mission patch. I have manual focus on. What, what am I doing manual focus on? So yeah, there, that's really easy foreign country mission patch. This would actually work with a lot of countries. Like you do this with Spain, current Russia. Mobius makes a Ranger model kit. The windows kind of bothered me because they don't provide window decals, so you have to paint them in by hand. And I think that shot of me looking out the window came out kind of sloppy. It also comes with a launch configuration for the Ranger shuttles. And what's really interesting is that this actually fits on top of a Saturn V model kit that Mobius's competitor makes, which is really weird to me. It's like like, hey, buy our kit and then buy our competitor's kit. Of course, it's not the scale, so that was a composite shot. This is like two or three times bigger than it should be. So yeah, the suit is just a painter's suit. Normally what you wanna do is buy the Tyvex kind because this kind is somewhat transparent and the Tyvex isn't, so. You could get away with, you know, that being the full space suit. This one, if I was trying to do an actual legit looking sci-fi movie, then I'd have to cover this in a white fabric or white duct tape, similar to how I built the older spacesuit. And I definitely want to cover up the zipper here. But this is what I had, so this is what I grabbed. The straps here are from an old backpack, and I just hot glued that on there, and then I hot glued all of these painted EVA foam rectangles onto. The chest plate is also just scrap EVA foam. Uh, I didn't bother to seal any of this because this was supposed to look like it was thrown together. I, I didn't want it to look really real because if I'd spent that much time on it then a month would go by without seeing any videos. The mission patches, they're real patches. They're attached with velcro so that I can reuse them in other movies. These shoulder pads are actually just knee pads that I took the strap out of and painted white. And again, I didn't bother with sealing any of this because, you know, it wasn't necessary for this short. As for the helmet, uh, it's just the same helmet that I used in my older videos. The only thing I changed was I just cut the top off of a t-shirt and took the bottom part and hot glued it in there. It's partially to look like the spacesuits in the movie and partially just to hide the neck. Also, I added some blue LED lights in there. That gave a really cool effect on the actor's face, but I don't know if anyone actually noticed it because you're talking about looking at a tiny part of the screen and uh, ignoring what everyone's saying. So yeah, that's the space helmet. I had wanted to build a new one using styrofoam, uh, but again, I wanted to get this done quickly. The endurance is my favorite part of this video. I thought it'd be funny if I made the whole thing out of Irish Spring soap boxes, so I made the whole thing out of Irish Spring soap boxes. There's soda bottle caps on the sides, those tunnels are PVC, and the decals are all leftover decals from models that I had to build for other movies. I built six different Tarzes out of Legos because I thought that both looked accurate and it was kind of funny. These were actually part of a mock-up of a Russian Vasca module and that set was eventually struck and these pieces were pulled off of it and used for a short film called Cargo. And then that set was struck and these pieces were pulled off of it and used for another short film. And then these were supposed to actually go back to a prop house, but the prop house folded. So instead of keeping these around, when they struck that third and final set, they just threw these out. And I was walking by the set deck bins and just saw these sitting there and I'm like, are you serious? So I grabbed them and now I've got these, you know, flight control switches, which I think are the coolest things in the world. So when I shot the movie, you never saw the astronauts' backs, so I never built this thing because it would have made it more difficult for them to sit down. But afterwards, a classmate of mine called me up. He was working on a space short film. Real quick, I just glued this on the back. It's just styrofoam junk that came off of a bandsaw that had been thrown out and stuff. And I just very carefully hot glued that onto the back and hot glued the straps right there so that they fit. And uh, that was it. So yeah, that's how you make props for a really quick, simple, easy space movie. Thanks for watching. This is kind of a low-tech version of the DIYs that I normally do, but people have been asking me about my spacesuits for a while. Just thought I should post it. If you want to watch more tutorials, you can check those out right here, or the short film right here. There's also some behind the scenes on the vlog channel. And if you want to support this channel, then you can drop by my Patreon page. Alright, thanks for watching. Jake out.